Hey everybody, once again we're going to bring a Active Engagers class to you today. We miss all of you and we're so thankful that you are doing your workouts and hopefully you're joining us for some of our Facebook Live classes. We will continue to bring those to you at 10 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is a more moderate intensity class, and Tuesdays and Thursday nights at 6 p.m., which is a more high intensity class. And then these videos for you to do some flexibility, some balance, and some strengthening exercises. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, please reach out to us and let us know how everything is going. We miss all of you. And Hannah will be joining us again today for a 30 minute class with some stretching and some exercises. Okay? Take care. Modify anything that you need to. Eliminate anything that causes pain. And enjoy. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is just some dynamic stretching today. And we're going to go ahead and stand for this. So she is on her X and I am on my X. And grab your spouse, grab your siblings, grab your children, your yeah. grandchildren, your dog, and let's get started. You will need a chair and some light dumbbells or water bottles. Okie doke. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's just do some neck rolls. So we're just rolling our neck side to side. Let's look over our right shoulder and our left shoulder. So just go side to side, right shoulder to left shoulder. Let's look up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Up to the ceiling, down to the floor. And let's do right ear to right shoulder, but moving our necks instead of just holding it. Okay, so this is actually called lateral flexion, and so we're just ear, shoulder, ear to shoulder. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Good. Let's do some shoulder circles to the back. This literally is one of my favorite. I sometimes just sit at the home and do these. get crazy and let's do one shoulder at a time to the back. Up, 
Let's go forwards with our arms and back. So it looks like this. Keep those arms extended. Just going forwards and back. Just opening up that chest and upper back. Let's do some twists. Let's reach over our left side and then our right side. Left and right and left and right. Reach. And reach, and reach, reach. Get the sides of your body nice and stretched. <clears throat> Let's do some twists. those hips, so hip circles. Let's go the other direction. Let's march in place. Marching on the balls of those feet, get those arms moving. Job. Let's do some toy soldiers. So we're going to keep our knees straight and kick those legs up as high as you can get them. widen our stance and we're going to stretch our inner thigh so we're just going to bend our knee and then come back to the other side so we're going side to side side to side We're facing either direction. I don't care. She's facing this way. I'm facing this way. We're going to drop that back knee. Stretch our hip flexor. And I'm just going to push a little as I bend that front knee. So I'm going up and down kind of just to get this nice and warmed up. Nice and loosened up in that hip flexor. Keep your chest up and looking forward. You need a chair to hold on to, please do that. Alright. Switch sides. Grab your chair and just get a little stretching of our calves. And then we'll be ready to go. 
So just bend forward, stretch that calf muscle. And then bend that back knee slightly, get the Achilles. Switch legs. And then bend that back knee and get the Achilles. All right, now that we're ready to go, you're gonna grab your light dumbbells. We're gonna do 10 exercises. Each exercise is going to be for a minute. We'll transition between each exercise so that I can explain what we're doing next. It'll be a little bit of balance exercises with some strengthening, okay? Um, I'm gonna use water bottles today for my weights. Uh, Hannah is gonna use five pound dumbbells. I don't think that anything that we're doing today would need anything higher than five pounds, but if you did wanna challenge yourself, you could try something higher if you have that at home. But I would say anything from one to five pounds would be perfect. Okie doke, and also make sure you have your chair. The first exercise we're gonna do is a chair stand. So you will not need your weights for that. Sit, sit on your chair, sit tall in your chair, scoot forward in your chair, feet are under your knees, we've done this many times. Hands are either in front of you or across your shoulders. All right, so here we go. One minute of chair stands. Ready and go. Press through those heels as you stand up. Try not to lean forward too much. If you need to put your hands down, that's fine too. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. So, next exercise is our single leg balance. So this is our balance exercise. We're gonna do 30 seconds on our right, 30 seconds on our left. I'll tell you when to let go. First thing is to lift one leg. Do not touch the other leg. Chest up, brace your core, head up. Three, two, and one, let go. Make sure your knee is soft. Do not lock that planted leg. Sometimes people have to laugh at me because I start talking and lose my balance. And put your foot down. Hold on. Lift the other leg. Soft knee. Three, two, and one. Put your foot down. Good job. Okay. You can do this standing or if you need to, you can sit in a chair. We're going to have our palms in. We're going to do a bicep curl to a military press or a shoulder press, whatever you want to call it. Um, but your palms are facing in the entire time. So think about your thumbs are up. We're going to keep our feet hip width apart. Brace that core and we'll go in three, two, and one. Bicep curl, press. Bicep curl, Press. Right now I have water bottles and Hannah has five pound weights.
four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. Tandem stance, which is heel to toe. We're going to do this with our eyes closed. I don't need to lock those knees. Keep a soft knee. Brace your core. Chest is up. We're going to close our eyes and do 30 seconds with one foot in front and then 30 seconds with the other foot. So hold on first. Get in position. Heel to toe. Okay. If you can't do heel to toe, you can separate your feet just slightly and do what we call more of a split stance. Okay? So we'll go in four, three, two, and one. Close your eyes. I'm not closing my eyes because that was eight o'clock. <laughs> she thinks when she whispers, you're not getting here. I know. We gotta make it fun. It really is if you think about. And stop. All right, switch your stance. The other foot is in front. All right, and also, by the way, I would like you to let go. I don't think I said that first, but let go and do this without holding on. Now, obviously, if you can't, you can hold on, but we would like you to challenge yourself by not holding on. Okay, so here we go. Let go in three, two, and one, close eyes.
One thing I would suggest if you're at home and this is challenging is to do this like behind your couch. If you can hold on to the back of your couch or up against the wall so you have something to hold on to. Um, if this is also difficult for you to find anywhere at home to do this, you can also use a spouse and hold on to their hand. How about we go one more down and back? That'll be four. All right, here we go. It's funny. We don't really think about how challenging heel to toe walking is. Mm -hmm. seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, next exercise, you'll need a weight. So again, you can use milk jugs, water bottles, or lightweight if you have it. Um, I'm going to use something that probably weighs about eight pounds here. Um, it's our hand sanitizer. Uh, we're going to do 30 seconds moving across our body from left hip to right shoulder and then switching 30 seconds from right hip to left shoulder. <clears throat> okay, let's go in five, four, three, two, and one. Reaching across our body for 30 seconds this way. Head, 
shoulders, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. We're all in a straight line. So think about that. We're going to look forward. Again, holding on, feet are hip width apart, press up on the balls of your feet. And go. One minute. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, two more. Then we'll do a little static stretching at the end and we'll be done. Toe walking. Okay? So you're getting up onto the balls of our feet. So we're kind of doing a combo from what we just did with the calf raise. Now we're actually going to walk it. So we're going to walk on our toes. And, you know, the fun thing is you can do this anywhere. You can walk in a circle. You could walk in a figure eight. We're just walking on our toes, okay? So we're going to walk on our toes for 30 seconds, and then we're going to walk on our heels for 30 seconds, okay? We're going to practice safe distance. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds on our toes. 30 seconds on our heels. If you need to hold on to something, please do. Make sure you're keeping that shoulder back, head up, core tight. Switch to those heels. And try not to lean forward. We want to stay nice and tall. This is working the front of the lower leg. You should be feeling that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right, let's do just a little bit of stretching right now. Um, I'm going to start with my quads. Uh, we didn't get that much at the beginning, so I want to make sure we get that now. So we're just going to grab our foot, or we can rest our foot on a chair if we cannot grab our foot. But you're just going to stretch that quad muscle. Keep your knee pointed to the ground. Your chest is up. You're not leaning forward. switch. Okay. We're going to widen our stance. I want to use my chair because my chair is always here if I need to grab on. We're going to widen our stance. Our knees can be soft. They're not locked. And we're going to reach for our right toe. If you can't reach your toe, you can hold onto your knee. But we're going to stretch our hamstring. Again, if you need to hold on, hold on to that chair. But we're reaching for that toe. Good. We're going to lock our fingers to the middle. Hold this position. Then we're going to walk our fingers to the left. Stretch the left side. We're going to walk our feet straight. And then I just want you to continue to just grab each elbow and hold. Let your head hang. Nice. 
nice and slow come up. I want you to reach for the ceiling or the squat sky. Reach, reach, reach. And you're done. Thanks for joining us today. See you next week.